but it is what it is. And it's kind of busy on this little alley. Like, you kind of got to get your... Yo, what's going on, guys? Love and peace, peace and love. Today we have a very, very special, controversial sneaker today. As you see, it's the Mamba Sita. And um, just so you know, I don't condone the sell of replica goods and all that good stuff. And go ahead and like and subscribe. Today we got the Mamba Sita. And as you know, I've reviewed these uh, Kobe 6s from across the water before. And I deem that the pair that I had in this little video right here, which you should go check out if you have not, these were okay. They were decent. I'm still questioning the fact that they may not have the correct um, air pocket system inside of them. So I don't know. This this next pair of Mamba Cetas that I have, they're different. Well, what did I say? 7.5 on the court grip? Okay, well, spoiler alert. It was different on the Mamba Cetas. But with this shoe, it's I'm getting a lot of questions about it. People are asking me, can they play basketball on a higher level with them? And we'll have to wait and see in the video for you guys to determine that but the, the the Grinch that I got back in September I would say just stick to like recreational basketball with those I wouldn't recommend you go play like varsity level or even like D1 I wouldn't recommend it that's just me personally from my experiences with the shoe so let's just go ahead and get into it first with the controversy and Vanessa Bryant put out this statement on Instagram saying that this is a shoe I worked on in honor of my daughter, G my daughter Gianna. This is a shoe I worked on in honor of my daughter Gianna. It was going to be called the Mama Cita shoe as an exclusive black and white colorway on her daddy's shoes. I picked the colors in honor of her uniform, the number two she wore just like her uniform, the inside pattern, Kobe and Gigi on the back in gold instead of a Kobe signature, the inside shoe details, butterfly wings, halo, etc. The Mama Cita shoes are not approved for sale. I want it to be sold to honor my daughter with all of the proceeds benefiting our Mambasita Sports Foundation. But I did not resign the Nike contract and decided not to sell these shoes. The Mambasita shoes were not approved to be made in the first place. Nike has not sent any of these pairs to me and my girls. I did not know how someone else has their hands on these shoes. I designed in honor of my daughter Gigi and we don't. I hope these shoes did not get sold at Nike. And I'm gonna say this, Vanessa Bryant, I did not purchase this shoe. This shoe was sent to me, um, like all my other shoes, it was free as a gift. It comes from across the water and I don't condone the resale or selling or even manufacture of this particular sneaker. I just wanted to show you guys from a performance standpoint and I totally expect your wishes of not selling the sneaker and all that good stuff. And I say all that respectfully, so let's just keep it pushing. Okay, starting with the box, it says Kobe 6 white and black, and it's interesting, it actually says white and black. And the box is typical, it's not like the um, box for the, the Grinches, and I did not know I was gonna get this amazing looking piece of paper, poster, insert that comes with it. I don't know how official this is, I probably will never know how official this picture is, but I love it. I don't even know if I should keep it in the shoebox after this. I still haven't decided, but it shows all the phases of Kobe, all the Adidas sneakers, some of the Nike sneakers. I see him wearing like maybe some Jordans in there too. This is amazing. So shout out to whoever put this together. This is dope. I love any kind of Bryant memorabilia. I was a fan. I think I realized Kobe Bryant is only three years older than me. I don't know if he was still here with us, but that's neither here nor there. Let's go ahead and look directly at some of the details here. We got the white bottom. We have the Kobe symbol right there on the toe. And the toe is kind of that soft neoprene, reminiscent of like the Kobe 5, like that torch tongue. And it comes with black laces. You got Gigi's number right there on the side. It says Nike Zoom right under there on the bottom. Close look at the scales. The scales look good. They felt good. I'm not really sure what you would find here, but I'm just giving you a close look at them. I mean, it looks good to me. This is probably the most detailed part of the sneaker. Got Kobe and Gigi on the back, and I think that's what Vanessa was like, you know, really making a point about. Yeah, and there's a look at the bottoms. There's some carbon fiber on those bottoms too. It's kind of hard to see, but I mean, to me, I love the black and white combo. That's actually my favorite color combination, black and white. So a little touch on the gold is nice. There's the insides, if anybody wants to do with that. Mamba Cita on the, on the heel, and you could, you could pause this stuff. It's all in slow motion, so you could pause it. There's the insole, 
interesting insole. This is before they started to put drop-ins in the sneakers with like the Kobe 8. The laces look pretty cool. They got like these gold tips. The tips were like, had like a really high quality feel to them. Now let's look at the retails real quick. I'm not gonna stay on these too long. Here's the boxes. That's the Grinch box. Here's a retail pop. Here's a retail box. The Kobe 6 box. Protro. So that's another thing. The Protro means that they retooled the airbags inside of the shoe. And the Grinches don't say Protro and the Mamacitas don't say Protro. So that's one difference. The boxes to me, one of them looked a little blue. You might have to run that back, but when you looked at the Mamacita box and the retail box, one looked blue. There's the XDR, extra durable rubber. And I've heard that that XDR is like a regional thing. Like in Europe, in Asia, XDR comes on a lot of their sixes. And here's a quick look at the, the Grinch. And if you notice, there's the carbon fiber. The Grinch goes from a clear sole to rubber. That's the inside. It says, I want a shoe that molds to my foot. And this shoe definitely molds to your foot. And like I said before, the retail six is just more snug. So I don't know if that equates to it having official Nike airbags in there. And this goes from clear to clear as well. So I don't know if that has a play on the traction because the traction for this, this all-star pair was really, really good. I almost like hurt my knee. The traction was so good, like stopping power. It's got that reflector kind of material on the tongue. Look at the heel, got 2011 all-star on there. The size. If you guys want to see what's in there, some writing in there. The other one says West. I tried to get the insole out. It was just too tough. I didn't want to damage it. Just squeezing for the Met bag. When I mean my Met bag, that's the airbag they're putting in the newer Kyries. So for the Pro Tros, they put that in there. And it feels really good. It's really responsive. It's really squishy. Not too squishy. It's like in between squishy and, you know, supportive. Here's all three of them. And to me, they're all beautiful shoes. If you notice on that Grinch, the signature is really low. It's kind of low right there. So let me look at the, the right shoe's not as low. The right shoe's right that left one uh, here's a retail look at how the signature should look according to a retail and these are from StockX by the way I ain't got no shame see the materials are different the materials are different on all three this one actually has like white semi tumbled leather insides are like that like kind of Kobe snakeish black and white thing that's a cool theme I'm just feeling for the Met bag to see how responsive it is but we'll see when we do an on foot performance test here in a bit under the black light, retails don't have anything on them. Just checking in. I see a little bit right there where the plastic meets, but there is really nothing on here. So I didn't, I didn't stay too long on them. But I love the sneaker. Um, let's go ahead and see how they do on the court, though. All right, so on this one, we're going to do a some type of performance test. Uh, it's not like the normal videos where I kind of just play some music, vibe out, and do the vlog thing. We we're actually going to put these to work. And I was shooting around with this kid. He was really happy. And his mom told me in the sauna. She was like, thanks for shooting with my kid. I was like, okay. But I shot around, you know what I'm saying? Another kiddo jumped on the court. And you see those guys behind there. They were a little annoyed that I wouldn't play. They're like, why is the dude coming here with like spandex on? He's got his like arm thing on. The mama seat is on. And he doesn't even want to play. I'm like, nah, man. I'm, I'm too old right now. Look at, look at me. I'm out. I got to take a break on the court. So I just kind of kept warm a little bit and, you know, the shoes were perfect. I actually forgot about them. The grip was amazing. That's court dirt. And um, right right now you can hear people, they're asking to play now. They're asking to play. I'm trying to ignore them. This is me ignoring them. I'm like, huh? And then he asked me again. You know what I'm saying? And then I'm like, nah, I'm too old. Man. That turned into something else. All right, so the too old thing didn't work. You see the guy in the gray shirt? He wanted to play really bad. I mean, the guy in the 15, the Carter jersey, he wanted to play too. But, I mean, and I'm this is the worst camera angle too. I didn't really know. I just put the camera down and hit record. And I keep checking my watch to make sure. Oh, there we go. Okay, okay. First miss. That was my first shot. First miss. It's okay. It's okay. Boom. Oh, look at that defense. You see what I'm saying? Gary Payton, baby. Gary Payton. And then the Kobe's kicked in. Swish. You know what I'm saying? All in the day's work. All in the day's work. All right, and this dude right here, he was strong. He did some weird little floater on me. I was like, all right, all right. Here we are again. Okay. So he's messed with me. I'm trying not to foul him, too. Like, I'm trying not to foul him. 
There we go. I, I. You know what I'm saying? Teamwork makes dream work. There we go. Oh, okay. Oh, he missed. Get in there. Okay. And my dude was shoot happy too. He, he loved to shoot. I was just gonna let him shoot though. He was. Kobe's kicked in again, man. Come on, come on, man. One more time. They should have switched. Let's keep it a buck. They should have switched. <sighs> Look at this. Kobe's kicked in again. And one. That was and one too. He fouled me. All right. Dude got a little warm. He, he caught a fire a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Dude got me. It's okay. You see, every time they need the basket, he just go at me. And I was like, I'm going to stop him. Oh, oh, see? See? He's putting that handle out a little too far for me. You know what I'm saying? That snail man kicks about that. All right. Teamwork, baby. Unselfish. Look at that unselfish play. Look what it got us. They should have switched. Oh, I lost the ball. Oh, 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 well, Kobe. Come on, man. Come on, man. Oh, no dribble. Just step. Oh, my gosh. He's tired, too. Look at him. Okay. Oh, he got me. Oh, he didn't get me. Good rebound. Good rebound. They got the ball back. And it got to a point where he was like, how much points are we down? And he just started, he just started giving it to my man. It's okay, though. He just started taking matters into his own hands. But they messed up. Wow. Should have played D. Look at my guy again. Rex Chapman. See? Oh, didn't that work? Oh, see? This, this, they turned, they turned over the ball. It's okay. They made a little run. They made a little run. And, and notice the movements I'm making in the Kobe's. These things are like perfect. So I'm trying not to foul. I think they banged one right there. Yeah, he's, 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 he's on me. See, they, they, he, he put, he's putting in work. He had to make seven points up till it was point, point. We played till 15. Win by two. See, he's giving them that work. Look at that. It was almost unfair. I was like, I wanted to switch, but he was like, I got him. I got him. Look, oh, he doesn't got him. Okay, had to take matters into my own hand. You know what I'm saying? Had to take matters into my own hands. Let's go. Look at the cuts. A triple threat is trash. Oh, got through there. Left handed. Missed. Inside, they got the ball back. But this, this is this is where this is the turning point right here. You know what I'm saying? He, he got that ball in front of me too much. I don't like that. Gary Payton. Oh, Gary Payton. Let me get that. Let me get that. Let me get that. Out of bounds. It's okay though. It's okay though. Oh, 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 what's that? What's that? Kobe. That's all That's all she wrote, guys. That's all she wrote. See? I told you I didn't want to play, man. I told you I wasn't trying to play. Psst. All in the days of work, baby. All in the days of work. <laughs> it was fun, though. It was fun, though. Like, I didn't want to play, but I felt bad because they asked me right when I walked in. And uh, they, were, they were begging for, for a rematch. And um, I just couldn't do it, man. I didn't, I didn't want to hurt myself. Look at the guy in the black. Okay. He's picking up where I left off. He told me. Okay. He says he's got it. Hi. So as far as these being good for like professional sports, I don't know. But for doing like the two-on-two -two recreational thing, A+. Plus. I love them. But let's hear a few words from our uh, our MVP here. What, what does he got to say? I didn't expect to play the whole game like that. Uh, I also didn't uh, expect to make all the points, you know, but... All in the day's work, you know, all in the day's work. But the Kobe's, it feels like there's a Met bag in there, but I'm just not 100% sure if there's a Met bag or not. They perform well, you know, just like I did. Two on two, baby. And I knew that dude with like the dreads, I knew he really wanted to win the game because they was down by seven. And I didn't even think we were gonna win, I'm gonna keep it a buck. We were down by seven. And then he started taking the other dude um, hard one on one. And he kept apologizing, like, man, I'm sorry, man, I'm sorry, man. Kobe, the Kobe's kicked in. It wasn't me, it was the shoes. And that's a wrap, guys. I would say that these GGs are not like the all-stars that I have. They're just not as tight in the feet, but they perform just like a retail would. So take that. Beautiful shoe, beautiful shoe. Lisa, thank you again for delivering as always. Vanessa, I'm sorry, but the power that these shoes gave me today, gotta wear them again. Highly recommend them. Kobe, you know I love you, baby. You taught me a lot, baby, even though I'm, you know what I'm saying I'm a student of you, Kobe. But uh, I'm out. And um, keep your elbows in. Keep that elbow in. <laughs>